What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to show you a quick tip for how to make materials translucent inside of SketchUp. If you're looking for more great SketchUp tips, make sure to check out my SketchUp tips guide at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is a model we used last week where we came in here and we created some drapes along the window right here. And I think I kind of skipped over in that video um, how to make those materials transparent. So I wanted to teach you how to do that inside of your SketchUp models. Um, the model that this is inside of is a 3D warehouse. It's or is a 3D warehouse model. It's the Hungarian house by S.Z. Kristoff. And so what I wanted to do was just show you a couple different examples of some things you could do in order to make things transparent or translucent, meaning they allow light to travel through them. So um, first of all, what I want to do is I want to take a look at material types inside of SketchUp. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my sample to sample the material that I applied to this drape. So I applied a leather blue material to this drape. And that's fine. Um, that works great. But let's say that I wanted this to be a little bit more of a translucent type material. Well, you can actually adjust that setting in your materials under the edit tab. So if you go into your edit tab and you look at the bottom of the page, there's actually an option in here for opacity. And so if you select a material inside of SketchUp and adjust the opacity, that's going to affect how much light can get through that, as well as how well you can see the material that's been applied to that face. So you can see how as I drag that opacity to the left, this is getting more and more see-through. As I drag it to the right, it's getting less and less see-through. And so once you have an idea of the way that this works, um, you can use this to um, make other materials transparent as well. So we're just going to use the sample function. We're going to sample these blinds right here. And in this case, I want to go ahead and I want to adjust the opacity on those down a little bit so these are more opaque. So you can see how it's really easy to apply this to different materials inside of your model. So I could do the same thing right here, where if I decided that I wanted these panels, these glazed glass panels, to be more um, to be more of like a shiny plastic or something like that, I could take this and I could adjust the opacity to adjust how much you're going to be able to see through them. So you could adjust these so that they're see-through or not, depending on what you're trying to do. And so the last thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about using a color um, and making it transparent in order to create a custom like glass look or something like that. So let's say, for example, that we were to take this material right here, this glass material, and we were to apply a color to it. So let's say, for example, that we wanted a, a piece of glass with more of a, we'll go with a purple tint. Um, I know that's really not the way that glass looks, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and apply it here anyway. So what we can do is we can take this material and we can apply it to this glass, and then we could come over here and we could drag that opacity down a whole bunch. So you can see how now I can create a glass material out of just a color with uh, gives you more of a tint inside of here. So now if I was to back out, you can see how this material now has more of a purplish tint. So you can use colors in here in order to create different looks for your different glasses and transparent things and stuff like that. And really for that, you could also use more of a texture material if you wanted to. So if you wanted to come in here and maybe use like one of the tile materials, like maybe this ornate tile, you could apply that ornate tile right here and then you could edit that and you could adjust the opacity to give this kind of like a, uh, if it had like a film with a, if it had like a film with like a decal on it or something like that, you could use this in order to create that. And you could get as um, you could get as creative with that as you want. Like for example, if you wanted to check this colorize tab, you could also colorize this so that it's a colored piece of glass. So let's say you wanted this to be kind of a blue piece of glass, you could make this kind of a darker blue and then adjust the opacity down or up depending on how pronounced you want that to be. And then if you really, really wanted to customize this even more, you could actually come in here and probably what you would have to do is you would have to apply this material to the actual face instead of to the outside of the group. So what I would do is I would double click in here and apply this to the face 
So I would just go find that material that I just created because it should still be sitting in your in model somewhere. So I would just find that and apply that to this material. Well, then you could right click on that material and you could position it. So you could make this larger or smaller. You could place this however you want it to be placed. You could actually position this texture um, however you wanted on this piece of glass. By knowing how to adjust the opacity settings inside of your SketchUp model, it really kind of opens up the number of different things that you can create um, using this setting. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Um, did you know about this tip? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. Remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.